Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you run service and what run service is, is run service, it's a, you know, a service that has methods and events for time management uh, as well. Uh, the events were, uh, run every frame and are good for kind of loop type stuff if you are, if you're needing that and, uh, you know, it's a frame by frame loop and it's important that you know about the task scheduler before coming to this video because it has a, a lot to deal with too. But I'm going to be going over the important events and stuff you would need to know and the best practices and stuff like that that you guys would need to know uh, from run service. So let's get right into it. First thing is, is server, is client, is studio. So when you get the run service, you know, like any other service, game, get service, run service. And then when you say run service, you have all the events and stuff, but when you say have a colon, uh, you will see if it's in here, there's is client, run service, is server, uh, whoa, is server, there's also run service, is client, or uh, studio, I meant. So what these return is, so I'm in a regular service script right now, server script, and if I called run service is client, it would return false because the context that the script is running under is not a client, it's under the server. If it's run service is server, then you know it would be it would be true. And if we were testing the game in studio, then that would be true as well. And that's important because well you, I don't know for any reason really, but you know, you could add benefits like if you're testing and you're just in studio testing, you could have that check and you can have like a million of a currency uh, just for in studio to test. So that's, that's pretty useful. <clears throat> so excuse me guys, but uh, basically back to that, we can say if uh, run service colon is server, we can say then print is server. And if it's not server, we can say else print not server okay so then when you run the game it prints is server because the context is this server and we could say is studio we can do the same thing in studio studio okay and if you run the game it says is studio and then guys when i join into an actual game i go to the output i go to server it says not studio Okay, so now we're going to get into events. Now, the three main events that you will see the most common and that will be the most useful to you. And, you know, that's just the, these are the events that you will see the most often and stuff like that. So, the first thing is heartbeat. And heartbeat is an event that runs every frame after the physics simulation has completed. So, basically, just ever every frame. And... So the the step argument. So when I say okay, run service dot heartbeat connect function, and there's a delta time. That is uh, indicates like it means the time that has passed since the previous frame. So it's a very small number because you know frames are happening every second. Because um, that's basically how you can see play a game and stuff like that. Uh, so the heartbeat, it's based off of like, it's, if, when it fires every frame, that means like the, the rate, like the, the step or delta time, whatever you want to put in here, that means that the, the rate will be on the performance of your machine. So if the game is running, example, 40 FPS, then heartbeat will fire 40 times per second. So that's good for looping. Like if you're constantly checking something. Or uh, various reasons, but heartbeat is useful. So you say working. I'm, I'm a print working under the heartbeat. Also going to print step, and then you go to the outputs, run the game, and as you can see, it keeps looping, working, and it is uh, telling us the time since the last frame, which is a very, very small number. So just to add on to uh, Heartbeat, I'm getting this from the dev forum, that there isn't a guarantee that the 
function is connected to the heartbeat will fire at the exact same time um, or any order so keep that in mind so to keep adding on to heartbeat i would like to let you guys know that heartbeat only runs on server scripts and the next thing i'm going to be talking about render stepped only runs on client scripts and it, um, from the surface, before I get into render step, it may look like that these two things are uh, the same. But when you look at the task scheduler, heartbeat is the last thing to run. So it's like at the very last thing, like it goes user input, render step, and then at the all the way end of it, it's heartbeat. But render step, it's the second thing. Um, so basically, render step fires at more towards the beginning of the task scheduler so if that didn't make 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 much sense render step runs before anything else renders so stuff like camera manipulation uh, that's used to display feedback for the player and uh, stepped the last thing I'm going to talk about runs before the physics uh, step uh, so any custom physics that take precedence over Roblox physics should be handled there and then heartbeat runs at the end of the frame like I just said and I, you should use it for anything that you know needs to run every frame, but it's slow, a slow enough operation that you don't want it blocking anything. Uh, so yeah. But anyways, on to render step. I'm gonna show you guys the same thing. So it's a render step, basically the same thing, but it's uh, more towards the beginning on the task scheduler. But when I run this, it's gonna have an error because renders, as I said before, render step. Events can be only used from local scripts, so you have to use this in a local script. So if we t uh, grab this, uh, delete it for just for a minute, toss it in here. I actually have to play the game because it's on the client. It still works, uh, as you can see down here. And I'm gonna add on, guys. Uh, if you're in a server script using Harp, uh, if you're in a server script and you're choose which event use heartbeat because it is generally the um the preferable replacement for you know loops that were using the while the while loops and uh if if you aren't sure then it's better uh and you know it's just safer to go with heartbeat since there isn't risk of any risk of blocking the roblox processes so all these and stepped uh, are basically the same, kind of, but not really. There's some slight differences. Stepped and render step fires every frame prior to the frame being rendered. So before it's rendered, the heartbeat, it is firing every frame, but after the physics simulation has completed. So stepped, pretty much like render step. But as I said before, decide which one is best for your case. Okay, guys, so the last thing I have on this list is bind for render step and unbind for render step. What these do is you can connect a custom function to the event render step at a specific time, whenever you want, and you can, you know, unlink it or disconnect it at uh, any time. So to show this, I'm going to create a function, function math A, B. I'm going to say print A plus B. And when I say run service dot coin bind to render step, it takes the name that we want, um, which can be really anything. I'm just going to say math binding. And then it takes the priority. So you can set the priority uh, however you want. I'm going to set it to one because I have no other bind to render step things going. So I'm just going to set that to, as the first priority, the first thing. And then I need to put the function I'm binding this to, which is math. Now, I'm going to test this out because I'm not for sure. But when I play the game, I'm not. it's not It's not working. So I think it might be only used on the client. But I'm going to check. Okay, guys. So I'm being kind of dumb. I actually forgot to put in uh, the numbers and stuff that I had here. Because um, this takes the a and b but i'm i'm not for sure just give me one second all right guys so i did kind of mess this up because using run service you kind of have to use the delta time that's with the event so you can't really plug anything in there but you can just say function prints and it would just keep printing something so print working uh so prints 
and then if we try it again okay I think it's in the client hold on guys oh yeah so there you guys go then it's printing working lots of times it has to be used on the client and then to unbind it I'm gonna wait five seconds five seconds and I'm gonna say run service unbind from render step and the name that we gave it which is still math binding so we have to put in math binding and we play the game prints working and then after five seconds it will stop because we unbind it just like that all right guys that was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video or you just enjoyed it please hit the like button and the subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next video peace